day boys and girls welcome back to miss rita's class today we are going to eat at a restaurant did somebody talk about food oh hello miss rita and my dear friends i am yolo your favorite yellow fastball oh hi yolo You've just got up from sleep, didn't you? Yes, I had a sleepless night yesterday. I heard somebody was talking about food, by the way. Yes, Yolo, it's lunch time already. We are going to a restaurant. Aren't you coming along with us? Off you now. Get yourself dressed and come back here quickly. To a restaurant? Does going up to a restaurant make you nervous like YOLO, boys and girls? Then, you need to learn how to place your orders with confidence. Not in any restaurant I'm talking about. Restaurant where they speak English. Even after all your conversational English practice, ordering something to eat still can be a challenge. You need a specific vocabulary and expression to succeed. I'm ready, Miss Rita. Shall we go? All right, Miss Rita. How are we going to order now? Well, Yolo, since you have asked, Today, we are going to learn how to order and how to ask for order and the structure. What would you like? I'd like, please. Yes, please. No, thank you. Do you have? So, by the end of this lesson, I'm pretty sure you will be able First, how to order. Second, how to ask for order with confidently. That sounds interesting. Well, I believe my friends can help me on this. Shall, shall we see, see what, what are, are in the, the menu? menu? What shall we start to order? Sure. I have a feeling that my friends watching at home are keen to know how to order and how to ask for order. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready, children at home? Great! So, if you like to ask for an order, the waiter or a person who asks for order will say something like this. Hello, what would you like? Hello, what would you like? Repeat after me, children. Hello, what would you like? Hello, what would you like? Brilliant! It means, hello, what would you want? So, if you want something like a cheeseburger, you can say, I'd like a cheeseburger, please. I'd like a cheeseburger, please. Repeat after me. I'd like a cheeseburger, please. The word is actually a short form for I would. So, you can say I would like a cheeseburger, please. Do you know that cheeseburgers are originally from the United States? They're meat with cheese in the bread. They are absolutely cheesy and mouth-watering. Awesome! Also, sometimes the waiter will ask, What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? Repeat after me, Yolo. What would you like to drink? This means the waiter is asking, What do you want to drink? If you want something cold and fresh like the lemonade, you can say, I'd like some lemonade. I'd like some lemonade. 
Repeat after me, Yolo. I'd like some lemonade, please. Wow! We've got so much food here. I can't wait to eat. Wait, Yolo. We still have more items to order. Hmm. Okay then. Sometimes the waiter will ask you something. They will offer you some dessert. They will ask you something like this. Would you like some dessert? Would you like some dessert? Repeat after me, Yolo. Would you like some dessert? This means the waiter is asking if you want to eat some dessert. If you like it, you can say, Yes, please. Yes, please. Repeat after me, Yolo. Yes, please. Ingenious. Sometimes, the waiter will ask you something like this. Would you like some watermelon? Would you like some watermelon? Repeat after me, Yolo. Would you like some watermelon? Great! If you don't like some watermelon, you can say, No, thank you. No, thank you. Repeat after me, Yolo. No, thank you. Very good. If you want to request for some additional add-on, for instance, you wish to have a plate of crepe, a bowl of salad, or an omelette maybe, you could ask like this. Do you have an omelette? Do you have an omelette? Repeat after me, Yolo. Do you have an omelette? If they have the item which you've ordered, the waiter would reply, Yes, we have. Or they don't have the items which you've ordered, then they would reply, No, we don't have. Wow! We've got so much food here. Can we eat now? Yes, we can, Yolo. Oh my, Yolo. Can't you eat more quietly? That noise is rather rude. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, Yolo. Being polite goes along with any language. When most native speakers order something instead of saying, I want, they'll ask, can I get? This sounds less demanding and can help the flow of the conversation. Exactly, you are correct, Yolo. Can you understand that now? Yes. Yolo, will you follow me to the bakery shop? My mom asked me to buy some buns and cookies for her. Let's go. Hmm, let's take out some things from this list. First, we need a cup of iced lemon tea. Could you help me to get it, Yolo? Yes, be right back, Miss Rita. And don't forget to start off with a greeting. Yolo, wait. Oh, boy. Well, boys and girls, it looks like Yolo is gone. While waiting for Yolo to return, I shall says, share some information to you. Usually, when you go out, to a counter or order, they will say hello and they might ask, how are you today? You always want to return their hello and ask, how are you? If they don't say hello, first, when you get to the counter, 
it sounds more natural to order by saying, Hi, can I get a cup of lemon iced tea? This is the best way to start an order because it shows respect for the waiter. You can choose any friendly greeting to start off the conversation. Hi, can I get a cup of iced lemon tea? Would you like mint or pepper lemon, sir? No, thank you. Could I just have an ordinary iced lemon tea? Certainly, sir. Here you are. Anything else, sir? That's all. Thank you for now. I'm back. Wow, food ordering is so easy. Oh, very well, Yolo. Did you get what I asked for? Yes, a cup of iced lemon tea. What's next, Miss Rita? Let's see. Hmm. We need to buy a packet of chocolate chips, two packets of coconut bun and a peanut bread. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Hi, can I get two loaves of bread, a packet of chocolate chips, and two packets of coconut bun? There are many types of bread and chips here. You may choose which type you prefer. I'd like to have peanut bread and chocolate chips. Peanut bread, chocolate chips, and... Miss Rita, looks like there's only a packet of coconut bun left. What should we do now? Mm, it's okay, Yolo. We'll grab that one. Good job, Yolo. You've done a remarkable work. <sighs> it was tiring indeed. I hope we got all that my mom asked for us to get. Come! We've got to hurry back. If not, my mom will scold us both. By the way, boys and girls, if you want to eat in a restaurant, you simply say, for here or for here, please. Some people say that, yeah, isn't a very polite way to talk, but it's way more casual and comfortable for most native English speakers. If you are in a formal restaurant or hotel cafe, you will want to use yes. If you are in any casual dining place, it's not necessary. If your answer is yes to any questions, you can nod your head up and down a little like this and reply with yeah, yep, sure, mm-hmm, so. That's all about the tone of how you say it. Smiling and happily say, yeah, it isn't rude. If you're not paying attention and mumble, yeah, it's then considered rude. That's correct. Here are some examples of casual alternative different choices to say yes. Is that all you'll be ordering? Yeah? Would you like this to go? Yep. Another note is that when you do use yes, then to answer that question about adding anything, you want to say yes, please. However, yeah, please sounds a bit awkward. Would you like cheese with that? Yes, please. Would you like whipped cream? Yes, please. These words are generally said together quickly as if they are one long word. Because of this phrase, you may say the words close together instead of including the pause. The longer you pause between the two more formal, then eventually awkward it will sound. The same can be said about no thank you. 
Dear boys and girls, based on my experience, I learned that we must always be prepared for extra questions. Especially when you go to a sit-down restaurant. This is a term for any restaurant that isn't fast food or takeout. But it doesn't have to be anything expensive either. You may have more questions asked while ordering and after ordering. Sometimes after ordering, you may want to quickly walk away to go sit down. Or you are ordering multiple things, you may try to list everything you want to order at once with a group. Instead, it's best to pause for a short amount of time after ordering each item. That way, the waiter can ask you more questions. When ordering a coffee, you may need to specify if you'd like it, ice, or cold, or hot, or what size you want. Some places will ask you if you want cream and sugar, and then they'll add it for you. Yes, that's absolutely true. If you order eggs or steak instead, you need to answer how you like them cooked. Eggs may be scrambled, mixed up, and cooked in little bits. Omelettes cooked in a circle and folded. Over easy, a simple fried egg. And sunny side up, fried cook egg cook only on the bottom side. So the yolk of the yellow on top stays liquid. You may be asked if you like any fillings, cheese, meat, vegetables, and other things to put inside the egg. Or side dishes, smaller plates of food which accompanies the main meal. You may also be asked if you want something on top of your food, a certain preparation style of your food, if you'd like to order any dessert and much more. When, it, when the time comes to pay for meal, they may ask you if you are paying with credit, debit or cash. Always give time to let the waiters to ask these things, children. If you know they'll ask certain questions, you may want to state those answers beforehand to save them the trouble. What size order you want? Or how do you like your coffee? Ask for a stick and tell them if you want to cook it well done, medium or rare. Alright boys and girls, do you still remember how to order and how to ask for an order? It's not rocket science, right? Okay, shall we play a game? To play this game, you need to pay close attention to these conversation templates. Now that we've learned about ordering food, can you try putting them in order in one simple conversation that you can use to practice? Be mindful, I've always answered option. Once the buzzer goes, you have to quickly choose the correct answer based on the conversation in the template. If you haven't got any questions, let the game begin. The first one has been done for you. Hello, welcome to the Rita's Coffee's house. How are you today? So, what do you think the answer? Boys and girls, when somebody asks you, how are you today, our reply will be according to the question. So, in the first question here, the answer is A. Hello, I'm pretty good. How are you? Very good. 
Next question. Are you ready? I'm great. Thanks for asking. What can I get for you today? What do you think the answer, boys and girls? Is it option A or option B? If your answer is A, sadly, you are incorrect. Because the most suitable reply for the question number two is B. All right, boys and girls, next question. Are you ready? Yes. Is that all for today? What do you think the answer is? Is it option A or option B? I think it's B. Are you confident with your answer? Yes, absolutely. The answer is... Yes, you got it right, Yolo. It's B. Next question. Are you ready? Would you like to try our new chocolate spoon? What do you think the answer is? A or B? No sweat. I say it's B. The answer is... Yes, you are correct. It's B. Ingenious. Next question. Are you ready? All right. One large coffee. Your total is RM to ringgit 50 cent. Will that be a cash or card? What do you think the answer? Is it A or B? It's a bit tricky here. Keeping my fingers crossed, I'd say it's A. Are you certain? The answer is... Yes! You got it right again, Yolo. It's A. Next question. Are you ready, boys and girls? Okay. Please sign. Here's your receipt. What do you think the answer? Is it A or B? I can do it in my sleep. The answer is A. Yeah, again, you got it right, Yolo. The correct answer is A. And the final question, Yolo. Please wait at the counter over there for your coffee. Thank you. Have a nice day. What do you think the answer is? Is it option A or option B? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, it's B. Oh, really? Are you certain, Yolo? All right, your answer is correct. The answer is B. Brilliant work, Yolo. You've nailed it. And the most of your answers are correct. I did it with my eyes shut. <laughs> Bravo, Yolo. Now that we have learned about ordering food, could you try putting them together in one simple conversation that you can put to practice? Hello, welcome to the Rita's Coffee House. How are you today? Hello, I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. What can I get for you today? Can I get a larger coffee please with a cream and sugar? Yes. Is that all for you today? Yeah. Would you like to try our new chocolate scone? No, thank you. All right. One large coffee. Your total is RM2 ringgit 50 cent. Will that be a cash or card? Card, please. Please sign. Here's your receipt. Thank you. Please wait at your counter over there for your coffee. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. How was the game, boys and girls? Was it difficult or was it so easy for you? I hope you got it all of them correct. I hope this tip will help you next time when you're ordering in English. Remember, the more about the way you say things with your tone than the word themselves. When said in a light tone with a smile, Everything seems more polite and natural. Also remember, 
to speak loudly, clearly in any food or drink environment so that the waiters can understand you. All right, boys and girls, that's all for today. I hope you've learned something new lesson from this session. You may try using all these phrases with your siblings or cousins at home. If you like to further discuss about this topic, you may join my online classroom. Here's the link. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye, boys and girls.